Welcome, my dear students, in another episode of our program for English Language for First Prep under the supervision of the Ministry of Education. أهلا بكم أعزائي الطلبة في حلقة جديدة من حلقات برنامجنا للصف الأول الإعدادي تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. As you know, today we are going to complete Unit 8, the world around us, the amazing world around us. قد إيه العالم حوالينا رائع وجميل. Okay? Let's remember together what we covered in the previous part. We uh, spoke about um, how to make comparisons, uh, how to use the comparative form of adjectives, okay? And we talk about the different places that we can see in the daily life. Let's go now and let's start our episode to see what we are going to take. Let's start. Okay, today we are going to uh, start our, uh, our part by a very important note. As you remember, we, uh, we talked in the first part about the measurements, okay? El ESAT type. Let's see, remember, we write the numbers for 135,000. Hadiba 435,000. Hadiba why we write the word thousand not thousands المفروض ان احنا بنقول ربعمية خمسة وتلاتين ألف يعني ده plural I can say no okay if I want to write a, a, a measurement or a number I have to use the, um, the expressions like thousand, million, hundred in the singular form okay يبقى هتبقى four hundred thirty five thousand not thousands خلاص 37 million not millions okay 37 million تمام بعد كده 37 million 435,191 okay if you can see with me I don't use the plural form with the expressions like hundred like million like thousands with the numbers تمام يبقى 37 million 435,191. Got it? It's a very important note. Tamam? Okay. Another one, which is when we do, when we don't want to give an exact number. لو أنا مش عايزة استخدم an exact number or maybe I don't know the exact number. Okay? What should I do? We can say expressions like more than or just under or about. يعني إيه بقى? We can say, for example, when you want to say, مثلا, uh, 192. 192. I can express this number or I can say this number more than 190. يعني أكتر من شوية 190. Okay? Approximately كده. If I want to talk, approximately. تقريبا. Okay? Hmm. More than 190. طيب 179 just under 180 just under يا دوبك يعني اقل حاجه بسيطه من الرقم 180 او 180 اوكي okay. 2003 2003 about 2000 يعني تقريبا 2000 اوكي يبقى if I don't know the exact number of something or if I don't want to say the exact number, if I want to speak approximately, تقريباً كده, I can use more than or just under or about. تقريباً. Got it? It's very important note. تمام? Okay. طيب. Which adjectives we can use to describe these photos? We have some adjectives here. Let's read it together. Let's read them together. Crowded. Empty, low, modern, narrow, noisy, old, quiet, tall, and wide. What is the meaning of the word crowded? Crowded. Crowded يعني full of people. مزدحم. زحمة جدا. Okay? And the opposite of crowded is um, empty. فارغ. فاضي. تمام? طيب. Low. Low يعني قصير أو قليل جدا. ها والأبوزيت بتاعه هاي تمام أو طول هاي أو طول طيب مودرن مودرن when I say that something is very modern modern يعني إيه 
مودرن يعني حديث يعني جديد والأبوزيت أوف ذا وورد مودرن إز ها إكزاكتلي أنشنت أو أولد أنشنت أنشنت يعني فيري أولد قديم أو أولد تمام أوكي نارو When I say that some, uh, this street is very narrow, narrow يعني ضيق ضيق جدا. Well, opposite of narrow is wide. Okay, the river Nile is very wide, عريض جدا. تمام؟ Okay, quite, quite. I have to study in a very quiet room. أنا محتاجة أو a very quiet place. أنا محتاجة أذاكر في مكان هادي. Quiet. Well, opposite of quiet is noisy. دوشة دوضاء أوكي؟ okay? got it؟ تمام let's بقى have a look to these um, pictures we have the pyramids of Giza طبعا a red pyramid و red pyramid ده in Dahshur أوكي؟ okay? وده the pyramid of uh, King Snefru the father of King Khufu تمام وبعد كده عندنا the Shanghai Tower وعندنا uh, الحمرة Tower وعندنا Bangkok وعندنا Brasilia أو Brasilia Okay, tamam. Okay. Let's be a start to make sentences about each photo of this. The pyramids of Giza. The pyramids of Giza are. What are the adjectives that I can use to describe the pyramids of Giza? Of course, the pyramids of Giza are old. Taban. They are very old and tall. Tamam. Okay. The red pyramid. The red pyramid is old and empty. Okay, احنا عارفين ان the red pyramid farther يعني ابعد من the pyramids of Giza عشان كده هو دايما empty فاضي. The red pyramid اهي شايفين look at the photo here it's empty فاضي. The Shanghai Tower is modern and tall. The Shanghai Tower is modern يعني حاجة حديثة Not old, not ancient, like the pyramids of Giza. It's modern and tall. Hadith. تمام؟ وطبعاً very high. طويل جدا. Okay. طيب. Now we have a quiz. Okay? And this quiz is a pre-reading questions. يعني أسئلة قبل إراية التكست اللي احنا هنقراها to check كده our information. تمام؟ Let's read together and try to, uh, try to answer these Uh, questions by yourselves to check your information. Type. How much do you know? Do our quiz. Tamim. Our Hagel pyramids. Which pyramid is taller? The Great Pyramid of Giza or the Red Pyramid? Mean the pyramid al atwal. The Great Pyramid of Giza? Well, the Red Pyramid, the Haram al Ahmar. Question number two. Which pyramid is farther? What's the meaning of the word farther? Farther هي the comparative form of the adjective far. يعني مين فيهم الأبعد. Farther. Which pyramid is farther from the center of Cairo? مين فيهم الأبعد عن قلب المدينة أو the center of Cairo? Which one is more crowded with visitors? مين المزدحم أكثر بال بال بالزوار? Does that make it noisier or quieter? ولو جاوبنا وقلنا which one is crowded with visitors? طيب. ال ال crowded place ده هيبقى noisier or quieter تمام يعني هيبقى مليء بالضوضاء ولا أهدى بعد كده ال buildings which building is taller the Shanghai Tower in China or the Alhambra Tower in Kuwait مين ال building الأطول which building is taller Shanghai Tower ولا Alhambra Tower which one is more modern مين ال more modern بعد كده In capital cities, compare Bangkok and Thailand with Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. Uh, which city is older? Mean fihom el Medina el Aqdam, which has a bigger population. Mean el Adat sukanha Akbar. Can you guess how many people live in each one? Mumkin nqdar nxammin Adat el Sukan el Maujud fi kull city. Okay. بالنسبة للولد اللي قدامنا ده, el I think the Great Pyramid of Giza is taller. أكيد هو الأطول تمام؟ طيب دي كانت الـ pre-reading questions احنا آه قريناها وتعالوا بقى let's read the text and try to answer these questions together how much do you know about pyramids؟ انت تعرف قد ايه عن الأهرامات؟ 
Let's compare two pyramids in Egypt. Tile and Qarin. Let's compare Tile and Qarin. The Great Pyramid of, e of Giza is 146 meters tall. Tulu, 146 meters. Okay? It's taller than the Red Pyramid. Yeah, this is the answer of the first question. It's taller, of course. The Great Pyramid of, e uh, of Giza is taller than the Red Pyramid. Which is El Tulu? 105 meters tall. اللي بيكون طوله بس حوالي 105 يعني 105 متر. But the Red Pyramid is farther away from the center of Cairo. هو أبعد من the center of Cairo. So it's less crowded with visitors because it's less crowded. It's also quieter. وعشان هو less crowded بال 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 الزوار عشان هو أقل ازدحاما بالزوار هو quieter. أهدى بكتير. Here. Let's read about these two buildings. Now, let's compare two very tall buildings. Um, the Shanghai Tower in China is 632 meters tall. The Shanghai Tower is 632 meters The tower first opened in 2015. أول افتتاح للتاور كان في 2015 so it's very modern ده حديث جدا ده الحمرة تاور in Kuwait is 412.6 meters tall والحمرة تاور ده طوله حوالي 412.6 meter يعني 412.6 meter والbuilding first opened in 2011 okay so the Shanghai tower is taller and more modern. Okay? يبقى the Shanghai Tower أكثر حداثة وكمان أطول. Then the Hamra Tower in Kuwait. Finally, we are going to compare two capital cities. عاصمتين كبار جدا. Bangkok became the capital of Thailand about 600 years ago. Bangkok بقت العاصمة بتاع Thailand about 600 years ago. منذ حوالي 600 سنة. So it's much older than Brasilia. Brasilia is a modern city. Medina Ahdas, Agdad. The Brazilians built in 1960. The Sukan al Brazilian Banuha, Sanat Alf Somayo Satin. More people live in Bangkok than Brasilia. The population of Bangkok is more than 10 million. Adad is Kasefa Sukaneya or Sukan al Magudin. For Bangkok is more than 10 million. Akhtar min Hawali Ashra million. The population of Brasilia is about four and a half. Million. يبقى أكيد مين اللي عندها ال much population. Of course, it's Bangkok. I think that after reading the text, we have uh, uh, we can uh, answer all the questions very easily. تمام? Which pyramid is taller? The Great Pyramid of Giza or the Red Pyramid? إحنا قلناها. Of course, the Great Pyramid. Excellent. The Great Pyramid of Giza is taller. Which pyramid is farther from the center of the Cairo? ها هو كان انسر the red pyramid super ليه احنا قلنا ان هو عشان هو farther هو quieter اهدى و less crowded the red pyramid which one is more crowded with visitors طبعا the great pyramid of Giza is more crowded with visitors because عشان هو الارب does that make it noiser or quieter when it's so crowded with people, how about it? Noisier or quieter? Of course, will be noisier. But it makes it noisier. Which building is taller, the Shanghai Tower in China or El Hamra Tower in Kuwait? We have read in the text. Of course, the Shanghai Tower is taller. Tamam, tamam. Which one is more modern? Also. We have read that Shanghai Tower is more modern. But compare Bangkok, Thailand with Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. Which city is older? Mean fihum al al Bangkok is older than Brasilia, of course. Taban, ehna onna ne Bangkok aadam biktir min Brasilia. Which has a bigger population? Bangkok has a bigger population. بانكوك طبعا هي اللي عندها الكثافه السكانيه الاكبر. Got it يا ولاد؟ I think now it's very easy to compare two uh, popular places or two famous places to each other. تمام؟ It's so easy. طيب. 
Let's look at these important notes. بقى تعالوا نشوف ال important notes اللي عندنا. إحنا قلنا we use uh, to ask about the measurements the question uh, with the WH question word how. Okay? But if I want to ask with how, I have to use the positive form. يعني إيه positive form of the adjective? يعني ال adjective without adding anything. Okay? يعني I can say how high is the tower? How high? قد إيه طوله? Okay? I can't say how height is the tower. Because with how, I have to use the adjective. لازم أستخدم الصفة, not the noun. While to ask about the same information, I can use another way. ممكن أستخدم طريقة تانية اللي هي what plus a noun. What plus a noun. يعني I can say, for example, how high, how old, how wide, كم عرض, how deep, كم عمق, how tall, كم طول, how much, كم قد إيه الكمية. At the same time, to ask about the same information. I can say what height. ما هو ارتفاع. Okay. What age. قد ايه العمر. Okay. What width. قد ايه العرض. What depth. العمق. What price. الثمن. خلاص يا ولاد. يبقى. If you want to read more examples. How old are the pyramids? What age are the pyramids? Got the difference? I'll have the same answer, but with different ways of asking the question. معايا طريقتين مختلفين عشان أقدر أسأل the same question. How wide is the bridge? At the ER, the bridge. What width is the bridge? تمام? Okay. طيب. We use the positive forms of adjectives after the measurements. يعني إيه؟ يعني بعد القياسات لازم أستخدم the positive form. Without adding anything, it's 146 meters height or high. Of course, high. The positive form. تمام. أنا مش هستخدم النون. I'll use the positive form of the adjective. يبقى it's 146 meters high. It's 25,000 meters long. تمام. هو طوله 25,000 meters long. Okay, got it, your lad? They are very, very, very important notes that we can benefit in the writing, in the speaking. Okay? Now, let's move to another part of our session, which is the listening. Okay? And today, we have a listening text about the Tahya uh, Masr Bridge. Tamam? Let's read together and... Uh, let's start. In front of us, you can see the world's widest suspension uh, bridge. It opened in Cairo in May 2019. In front of us, look at the picture, please. In front of us, you can see the, wor the world's widest suspension bridge. Arad Kubri Mu'allaq fil Alam. Okay? Suspension bridge. Kubri Mu'allaq. It opened in Cairo in May 2019. It فتح في القاهرة في مايو 2019. It's very modern. It's 67.36 meters wide and 540 meters long. تمام؟ يبقى هو عرضه حوالي 67.36 meter وطوله حوالي uh, 540 يعني 540 متر. More than 4,000 people helped to build it. اشترك في بناؤه أكثر من 4,000 people. What a huge number. Number كبير جدا. More than 4,000 people helped to build it. They started building it in 2016. بدأت عملية البناء في 2016. And they finally finished it 32 months later. 32 months later يعني بعد حوالي uh, 32 أسبوع من بداية العمل في البناء. The bridge crosses the Nile's uh, Warrak Island. Uh, البريدج ده بيعدي 
نايل وراء ايلاند مور ذان 100000 بيبل ليف اون ذا ايلاند وفي حوالي اكتر من 100000 شخص بيعيشوا في الايلاند دي Many people enjoy walking across the bridge. في ناس كتير بيستمتعوا بال بالتنزه أو بالمشي على البريج ده. Why? Because it has a glass floor. يعني إيه glass floor؟ يعني أرضيته من الزجاج. Try to imagine كده how the view will be fascinating. قد إيه المنظر هيبقى تحفة. Okay? So you can see the river under your feet. The best time to cross the bridge is at sunset. وأحسن وقت بتحاول تعبر فيه البريدج ده وقت الغروب for a beautiful view of the city عشان تشوف منظر رائع للمدينة got it? okay read about تحيا مصر bridge and answer the question how wide is it? it's 67.36 meters wide how long is it? it's 540 meters long How many people helped to build it? إحنا قلنا 4,000. Excellent. 4,000 people helped to build it. How long did it take to build? It took 32 months. What do you think sunset means? And why is it the best time to walk across the bridge? What do you think sunset means? يعني ما معنى كلمة sunset? And why is it the best time to walk across the bridge? وليه هو من أهم الأوقات أو من أفضل الأوقات اللي ممكن فيها نتمشى على البريج هنقول because the sunset means the time of evening هو وقت الغروب um, in which sun descends and disappears in the horizon اللي فيها الشمس بتختفي أو بتنزل في الأفق تمام؟ والبريج has وعشان كده عشان البريج has a glass floor so you can see a beautiful view of the city you can see the river under you okay so يعني انت تقدر تشوف ال river او a very beautiful uh, view of the city under your feet تحت اقدامك تمام now we are going to summarize all the points that we have covered during the part of this session we talked about uh, how uh, we talked about all the important places in Egypt like Tahya Masr and we read a very important text about uh, Tahya Masr and how he, he, he is the most important and the most uh, the tallest uh, the longest uh, suspension uh, bridge all over the world and we have some notes related to making comparison and how to talk uh, approximately about the measurements like using uh, more than, where under, uh, just under and about when we are not 100% uh, sure of the number or the measurement that we are talking about and um, the last thing, how to uh, make, how to use comparative forms during um, making comparison okay i hope that you covered all the points that we uh, that we explained during the session this uh, this time and see you next time inshallah bye